Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to connect a PoE PTZ camera to a third party in VR, a video recorder. So when we're using IP cameras to set up a surveillance system, another crucial device is the NVR, which is a network video recorder. In this case, when we talk about this, we have to understand a very important protocol, which is called ONVIF, which stands for the Open Network Video Interface Forum. This, will, this is, you can understand, is like a translator. It helps different devices from different companies, factories, with different designs to communicate with each other. With the un, when they're following the ONVIF protocol, it's like the ONVIF protocol helped them use the same language to communicate and then you know their signals their data can be interpreted decoded on this nvr so it's a really important forum between different factory made devices but like if you have the same factory made say let's say like high vision camera and high fiction recorder then they will speak in their own kind of language so Say we're using maybe Dahua or High Vision NVRs. When we want to connect a third-party camera to this recorder, how should we do it? Well, the steps are really easy. Now let me take you through the steps from the beginning. So of course we have our camera, our NVR, and since we're going to use PoE technology, which is power for Ethernet, so there's going to be power going through the Ethernet cable to the camera. We're going to need an injector because this is a regular recorder. It doesn't have PoE features in it. So then we connect. First, we of course we power our injector right here, and on the LAN port here, we connect it with an Ethernet cable, and then to the NVR. So now there will be a connection set between these two. After that, all the data coming out from the PoE port will, will also carry power. Now let's use another Ethernet cable. I'm going to use a very long cord. So this bunch is a really long. And then connect it with our panel tilt zoom camera. So on this, these are two different you know, parties. The regularly they should not be able to communicate because their design is totally different. But with the ONVIF protocol, it kind of like brings them to a neutral ground where they can all communicate and set, connect with each other. After they set up the connection, we'll be able to watch the video of the camera on this monitor here. So now let's go to the interface of the monitor and let's see how we should add this camera to the system. So now this is how we initially connect the whole camera system. This is what we'll see. And then we will have to go here, right click the screen, go to command menu, command menu, and we choose camera. We unlock the pattern. And this is the camera management surface interface. Right here, it has already detected our camera. You can see on the right, far right here, it says protocol. It is high vision. This is because they both have this kind of protocol. If we use a different camera, a third party camera, there was, it should be uh, showing on this because that is their co uh, communicating protocol. In this case, these both camera and recording have all the high vision protocol call. So in this case, this is good enough. And right now, we will add our camera to our system. Once it's added, give it a second. And now it's added, we go back. And here is the image of our camera. Now let me, because it's pointing to the white wall right now, it's really, really white glaze. Now we right click to the surface again, we'll see PTZ control. So we go down here. And now this is the control panel. And let's tilt, move it a little. And we can see everything is better. Let's take a look at the outside. So this is tilting up, this is tilting up and down because my camera is not deployed upside down right now. So the, all the directions are in the opposite. And this is paneling left and right. And we can also 
customize the speed that we want. So this will make it turn faster and slower. It really depends on our own. And here we have the zoom in, zoom out. So I'll zoom in. And on the right bottom right here, you can see that this is how many times we're zooming in. Okay, so let's zoom back out. Okay, and now we also have other features. So general, the presets, this is if we have a certain point we want to like let our camera go back to whenever maybe uh, it's been not operating a long time, we want it to go back to a specific point, we can preset it right here. So we move to the point and then we preset it to number call number one, two, all the way up to 99. And then we just enter the call right here. So I'm just gonna assume one, I'm gonna call preset, and moves to this place. It's really handy. And also we have a hidden function to like customize the camera. So preset, preset 95, when we call that, it will come out a main menu of our camera. We have infrared and all the park act, park time, dwell time, a lot of things we can do. And to close this, we just go back to the control panel and we go, see, you see there's a little, line here, it's the, um, pre present selection, and then we select exit and we click on right. And then this menu will move away and we can go back on controlling our camera. So there's more to do, but we'll talk about it in the future. And that's pretty much it for this video. And thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions about the PTZ camera connecting to a third party device, you can leave them at the section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.